Welcome back to Question Period. She thinks Trump has it right. He thinks Trump has it wrong. She wants to test immigrants at the border for anti-Canadian values. He thinks it's divisive. She says no to a carbon tax. He says Canada needs one. Kelly Leach and Michael Chong are both running for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. And no two candidates have more divergent views for that party. They were part of the first 12-person Conservative leadership debate this week in Saskatoon, and they will be debating later today in Ottawa. They join us now. Good to have both of you here. And I'm going to start with you, Kelly Leach, because everyone's talking about Donald Trump, and you said, quote, Donald Trump has delivered an exciting message and one we need delivered in Canada as well. He wants to ban Muslim immigrants, build a wall on the Mexican border, uh, rip up the free trade agreements. Are those the ideas that you support? No, those aren't the ideas, Evan. But what I do support is how he has focused on that growing gap between elites in the United States and the average person on the ground. And here in Canada, I think that we have to be cognizant of the same thing. You know, I'm talking about screening immigrants coming into Canada for Canadian values. Two-thirds of Canadians agree with doing this. Two-thirds of Canadians in multiple polls have said that this is an appropriate policy direction. I didn't uh, at any point in time endorse uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Trump's uh, positions with regards to uh, uh, some of the things you were alluding to, uh, Evan. That's what I was talking about, is this growing gap between elites and the average person on the street. All right, so uh, Michael Chong, you've said, and I'll quote, Kelly Leach is urging Canadian Conservatives to ape Donald Trump's divisive path to the presidency of the United States of America. This is a mistake. Uh, what do, you, do you think that what she's proposing is divisive, is Trump-like? I think it is, and I think it is a big mistake. You know, we're Canadians, we're not Americans, and the Conservative Party of Canada is not the Republican Party. Conservatives win when we reach out to minorities, when we win in cities, just like Stephen Harper and Jason Kenney did over the last 10 years. And that's the kind of Conservative Party that I want to build. You know, my vision is supported by ordinary Canadians. I don't know who Kelly's talking about when she talks about elites, but it, my plan's supported by farmers, by factory workers, by small business owners. How do I know that? I represent a rural constituency in rural Ontario. This is a constituency that I grew up in. I live on a farm and my neighbors and the people down the road at the Legion, the people working on the factory floor, they support my vision for the Conservative Party of Canada. And these people okay. are the furthest thing from elites. Well, Kelly Leach, you're using the word elite. Donald Trump used it. And you know there was an article this week saying that you're, you have a fundraiser charging 500 bucks a plate for some downtown lawyers, which some people say that's about as elite as it gets. But you've called people like Lisa Ray elite. Who are these elites? Aren't you part of these elites? Well, look, Evan, I think there's a lot of people in this country that have worked hard and have an elite education. They have great jobs. But when I'm talking about elites, I'm talking about people that are out of touch with, the pers with people on the ground, people who think they know better than the average Canadian. Okay, can, let me just ask you, under Stephen Harper, you were a minister of that government, over 3 million immigrants were let in. There was almost 10 years of Stephen Harper mm -hmm. government. Are you saying that he didn't properly screen immigrants, that for 10 years Stephen Harper didn't do proper screening and there's a danger to Canadian values and a danger to Canadian society that somehow he failed Canadians? Look, Evan, I'm pro-immigration. Immigration built this country. In fact, the Immigration Refugee Protection Act talks about nation building. What I'm talking about, and I think we do need to do, is face-to-face interviews with each immigrant that's coming into Canada. Well, Michael Chong, that would sound like you're one of the elites. What do you make of that? Well, I, you know, I'm the furthest thing from that. I'm, my, I'm the kid of immigrant parents, penniless immigrant parents, a Chinese immigrant father who came here from Hong Kong with no money and a Dutch immigrant mother who came here with no money in the 1950s and 60s. I, I grew up a mixed race kid on a dirt side road in rural Ontario. You know, I worked on the neighbor's cow-calf operation uh, shoveling bull manure for $2.50 an hour um, for five years. You know, I live in that same community. I live down the road from where I grew up. I'm oh, the furthest uh, thing okay, are from you, an elite. And the people that I represent are the furthest thing from an elite. Okay, uh, well, okay, let me talk about, when well, you said the word bull manure, a lot of conservatives think a carbon tax is bull manure. They don't want it. And they now say that Donald Trump is going to pull out of the Paris Agreement. He, he's not going to put a price on carbon. And any carbon tax, even one that you talk about, revenue neutral, will actually be, uh, will hurt Canadian competitiveness. What do you say to that? Well, first off, British Columbia has 
a carbon tax in place that's had it since 2008. Small C conservatives in British Columbia, British Columbia strongly support that approach. My plan starts off with a major income tax cut. In fact, it puts more money into the pockets of Canadian families than it takes out. Kelly Leach, he's saying a price on carbon, but it's also actually a huge tax cut. Do you support a price on carbon? Absolutely not. As I said on Wednesday at our debate, I would abolish any carbon tax that the Trudeau government brings forward. You know, this tax it will be an enormous burden on Canadians, and I would abolish it immediately. Donald Trump's talk about renegotiating NAFTA. Michael Chong, would you like to reopen NAFTA, renegotiate NAFTA? Would you do that? No, I think we should fight for NAFTA to keep it in place. 20% of our economy, one in five Canadian jobs, depends on exports to the United States. We have to keep those borders open for those exports, and so we have to fight to defend NAFTA. It should be the top priority of the current government. Kelly Leach, renegotiate, rip up NAFTA, or renegotiate NAFTA, do you want to do that? Not at all. What I want to do is make sure Canadians have a prosperous future, and that means having a strong working relationship with the President of the United States. I know that when I'm Prime Minister, talking to President Trump will be about common interests. One of those will be screening, but the other will then be that I'll be able to be respected across the table by him so that we can have a tough talk on NAFTA and make sure that we deliver for Canadians for the future. Kelly Leach, though, makes a point. She says she can get <laughs> along with it, President Trump. She says they have the similar ideas about screening immigrants at the border. You don't. You've called it dangerous. You'd, you'd say he's making a mistake about free trade. How would you get along with a guy like President Trump? Well, I think the Prime Minister has to work with the incoming American administration, of course. Uh, but I think that's a whole lot different than importing Trump-style politics north of the border, which has been so divisive south of the border. That's not the future for the Conservative Party of Canada. The future for the Conservative Party of Canada is to include Canadians from all walks of life, Michael. from all races, religions and creeds, that is based on a focus on economic growth and job creation. That's why I'm in this leadership race and that's why I'm running to win. Kelly Leach, you wanted, you wanted to mention something, but you, you're going to be tagged with this label. Everyone's going to call you. Kelly Leach is Canada's Trump. Well, what are look, you going to Evan, say? Let me be very clear, Evan. And, and Michael, I, I, I will say that uh, I thought you were a little bit above that. I am not a racist. I am not a person who's out groping other individuals. I do not do those things, and I don't think that the Canadians that support the ideas I'm talking about do those types of things. I've been very clear. I congratulated the president, incoming president of the United States. And I know that there are some reservations about him. But you know what? He is going to be the president. We have to work with him. And I need to put my personal viewpoints aside in order to be able to have a strong, constructive relationship. Those are, you are the things I want to do. Just, I want just to, to be make clear, sure that is he Canadians, a racist? I just got to just ask you real quick, Kelly, just to be clear here. Are you suggesting that he's a racist or that he grope people? I'm sorry? Are you, when you said to Michael Chong, I'm not a racist, I don't grope people, no, what are you I inferring just said, that what Donald I, Trump is? Evan, no, you were inferring that I was. You said that, you know, these ideas. And so I don't do those things. I never have, I never will, I don't condone them. And I think that anyone who tries to, by inference, say that I do, I'm disappointed in that. All right, look, I wish we had more time. Two conservative leadership candidates with their views on what they want to do. Also, obviously, on Donald Trump. I have Kelly Leach and Michael Chong. I thank you so much.